Good morning. It is I, Caesar. Caesar, haircut. I'm alone. I slept in. Yeah. T and the others went. We're on Castaway Key. They're all on the beach. They took off. They went down running to the beach. They couldn't wait to get there. Me, I just got up. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, so. I don't think I did any crazy kind of sleeping in. I, don't, I think they left at like maybe seven. I don't know. It's morning time. I just woke up. I'm still trying to get this to work because I'm tired. Still tired. I don't know. I, I went to sleep at like God, 11 o'clock, 1030. For me, that's like, you know, going to bed at six o'clock in the afternoon. We do have another ship with us today and it is the harmony of the seas and you can tell by its monstrosity and the fact that you can't see anything else around us it takes up the entire dock i don't think they're i think they're waiting to get off we've been on that ship before i can't remember i think it was 2017 when we were on that ship last I think they're trying or waiting to get off, no? Yeah, they're waiting to get off because all their crew and stuff are just now getting off of the ship. We'll be back. Good morning, by the way. Okay, I'm up, I'm moving go down to the promenade get me a coffee I'm not quite hungry yet I love how my steward calls me Todd or Thod I don't know my name's he uh, but he's calling me Thod or Todd because every time I walk out he says hey Todd oh hi I noticed that the ship is pretty empty today, which is probably a good time for me to do the tour. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do the ship tour today. Cause I mean, this place is empty. Let's go get some coffee. To the video tour, the independence of the seas, where we are going to start on deck three. Okay, first place we will go to that is on deck three is the Royal Theater, where they do all of their main shows. And as we walk through here, we will go look into the theater. It's a nice size theater. It does have two floors. Me, deck three and four is where they do all of the uh, seating. There is a staircase right here that goes up to four. walking through I believe that is all on this side of deck three these are all state rooms so yeah let's go up to the other side of deck three because you can't walk all the way through all of these are state rooms on either side so you have the opening then you have this ginormous staircase that leads you up to four and since we are on four let's go ahead and do four because I have to go to the other side of the ship to get to the other half of deck three, which is the art gallery. This is the other entrance to Royal Theater. And you actually enter over here. I'm sorry for the lighting. And this is where you enter on deck four. But primarily deck three is your entrance. We are now entering on deck four of the schooner bar. 
get a shot of the schooner bar. There it is. And this is your little place where you play trivia, do games, eat, drink, be merry. Piano singers here as well. All right, right beside the schooner bar, you have Yurizumi Hibachi and Sushi. Try to get a peek in here. They are closed right now. But you can see all of the hibachi grills. Looks like they have three of them. And of course you can also get sushi at the sushi bar that they have. Right there where that gentleman is probably preparing his food. Moving along. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of the casino. Since we are docked the Castaway Key, it is open. So we're not allowed to film while it is open. So I'm just basically going to do a drive-by. Uh, what I will say about this casino, it does obviously have a bar. It's very small. And the slot machines, for the most part, are outdated. Uh, they do have a couple of new machines. But for the most part, they need to upgrade their machines. A lot of them are, like I said, just really old, like 15 year old machines. They do have a few new ones. Table games, obviously. And then when you go into the Playmakers, they actually have extended their casino a little bit. Because if you can see, you have about 16 slot machines. Which are brand new. Then when you get into the Playmakers bar, which is their sports bar, you have some basketball games, as you see right there. You also have some skee ball. You have a ton of televisions where you can watch pretty much any sport you want to. Pool tables, I do not know if those pool tables are leveled. Uh, some ships that you go on, they do have leveling pool tables, so if the ship sways, the pool table actually sways with the ship or it stays level. I'm not sure if those do that or not, but yeah, this is a cool little bar area. It's brand new. Uh, they rent when they renovated this ship, they renovated the uh, this area and turned it into a playmaker's bar and grill. And yeah, cool little place to chill, have a beer, and watch some sports. All right, now, we are in Boleros, and this is pretty much the main gangway entrance. A lot of seating here. Cool little car that they have. Again, just like Freedom of the Seas. I, we were on Freedom in October, and I could have sworn we were on the Freedom when we came on this ship because it's so similar. Now, Freedom did do a lot more upgrading to their ship than I think Independence has done, but they still have done a pretty good job. If you like your authentic Cuban style music, Valero's right there. Nice little bar area. They do have really good music at night. I heard some last night. And then all the way to the other side of deck four, which is also deck three and deck five is your main dining room. Your main dining room is three levels. Uh, we are actually on level three or deck three when we go into ours. That being said, we will go back down to deck three to show you the other side. Because like I said, you, I guess you could walk through the stateroom area, but if you want to get from one side to the other, it'd be best to go up to deck four, walk through casino and come back down on the other side to deck three to get to the theater. Now, here we are on deck three. And we have the art gallery. And usually I'm not a big art gallery buff but I kind of got excited because they actually have some Guy Harveys 
And if you don't know who Guy Harvey is, he's the one that does all of the aquatic paintings. And I will show you a couple. Uh, obviously, I can't afford them, but they do have them. This is not Guy Harvey, by the way. This, however, is. So, yeah, I was surprised that they finally had some. You usually don't see a lot of those, but they do have some really cool art here. Um, again, for all of you who can't afford this art, I suggest you can come down and go to the auction and get you a nice little painting. Uh, but bring your wallet because you're going to need it. And on from the art gallery, we have the photo area. It's called Focus. This is where you can get all of your pictures. You can get SD cards. Um, let's see what else they sell. This is where you can check out all of your pics, see what you've got. They do have some batteries, some SD cards, micro and mini. They do have some GoPros. Looks like they have the GoPro 9s available. A couple battery chargers. They don't have a whole lot, so as I should have, make sure you bring all of your camera gear if you're filming. Actually, I'm a liar. They do have GoPro 10s right there. So they got 7, 9s, and 10s. And they're reasonably priced. They're about the same price that you would find at a regular store. Okay. And the last place that we will see on deck three is Studio B. I was kind of surprised they had a Studio B. Um, it's kind of hidden away, but yeah, obviously they are closed. I'm sure they're practicing, but yeah, this is where you go to your ice shows. I don't know if they have free skating here. Uh, usually if they have a skating rink and they have ice shows, they allow you to come in and skate for free. Or maybe they make you pay, I don't know. But, we'll see. So this is deck three on the other side from the theater. Okay, we are back and I'm going to show you real quick a quick view of the main dining room. Again, it is three levels, three, four, and five. Our table is actually over this way. We did eat here last night. Their food was good. Probably should have got the prime rib last night. I got the fried chicken. But yeah, it's a nice big old dining room. Waiters, waitresses here are very good. They will accommodate all of your needs. We'll even bring food to your stateroom if you do not feel like eating in here. The dining room manager gave us his card and said whatever we need, anything we need, has to do with the dining room give him a call and we said okay thank you sir so yeah again deck three gallery dining room studio b and theater okay so that was three and deck four now we're going to deck five to see the royal promenade so here we go. Deck five also, your main dining room. Over here, we have another little bar. I'm trying to see what it's called. I guess it's just called the great little bar area. Huh, we'll go with that. Anyway, you can get your drinks there if you want. To the other side, you have guest services. Where you can take care of all of your billing and well you all know the drill if you've been on a cruise before you know what guest services do moving right along to the royal promenade you got your next cruise ship next cruise ships i think i've said this before uh what's good about doing it here is you get usually a lot of good onboard credits by booking on the ship as far as prices, you don't get anything like super special, but they do give you deals on onboard credits and stuff like that. Now here is the collection, little place for clothing. Still getting weird looks. Here is the cafe promenade. Yesterday when we first got on the ship, they were serving coffees and teas to us. We couldn't do it ourselves. Uh, but after yesterday, after we left, 
they opened it up where you can serve your own drinks, so that's a plus. I was scared they were going to have to do that for you every time you wanted something. Here you have Sugar Beach. Have a nice little candy shop. And right next to it is the all gloryful, the all knowing, the almighty Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, came here yesterday, got me a double scoop of chocolate chip cookie dough in a cup. It is only $3. Man, what a bargain. Love Ben and Jerry's. I'm not a big ice cream person either, but man, Ben and Jerry's, they know what they're doing. And then to your left, you got a Michael Kors purse shop. To your right, you have a Regalia jewelry shop. And then there's this Royal Caribbean car that they always have on their ships, the Morgan. And as always, the teddy bears. Beautiful. Now they do have a vintages on this ship and it is in the promenade. And this is where you go to get all your fine wines. Cool little place. For all you wine drinkers. I am not one of them. Hello. And then here is your makeup beauty shop where you get all of your stuff, women stuff, perfume, Solera's Beauty. The wife really likes that place because they have products that she normally uses. So apparently it's a good place to buy makeup and perfumes and stuff like that. Right here we have Trend which is another jewelry place. And right here, across from Trend, we have the Hell, the Hell, the L and Anchor. Cool little pub, and this is a pub. They have good music at night. They have a guy that sings pretty much, you know, acoustic guitar songs, but they're really good. Uh, he's more of a rock and roll musician here so yeah that's a really good place to chill drink a beer and listen to some good music and then right here to your left there is the market this is where you can get all of your liquors you can get your cigarettes if you're a smoker and then like they have toiletries a few games toys for kids this is pretty much your Walmart on a cruise ship. Or maybe a Target. Let's say it's like your Target on a cruise ship that has a liquor store and sells cigarettes. They have Royal Caribbean apparel, stuff, again, toothpaste, mouthwash, uh, medicines, over-the-counter, you know, stuff like that. Last but not least is Sorrento's the pizza place this is where you can get pizza whenever you want except for now because they are closed and then also they have their drink dispensaries right here if you buy the drink package you can come here to get whatever types of drinks you want and i will tell you this they have everything on these cokes dr peppers mountain dews high seas you can touch this and you can just see the array of beverages that they have on this thing. They have a bunch. Unlike the ship itself, you try to go to the bar to get something to drink. Pretty much Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and that's it as far as carbonated drinks are concerned. And on this side they have the Star Lounge. It's a smaller little lounge where they do activities, meetings. Right here, after I'll show you this first and then I'll show you what's right beside it. But here's the Star Lounge. Again, 
has a little bar here if you want to get drinks while you're in here you can this is a cool little area As you exit Star Lounge to your left, they do have the library. So for all you book readers that want to get a book to read, you can go in here, read your book. I'm sure you can rent one, take it back, but this is the quiet zone. So quiet. Shh. All right. And this is deck five. Okay. Up the elevator we go. And as I was saying earlier, deck six through ten are nothing but staterooms. So, next place we will go is deck eleven, which is your main Lido deck. Okay, and the first place that we go to on deck 11 is the fitness center. Really nice little place. You got all of your saunas, steam rooms, uh, aerobics area as you can see right here. And they also have treadmills elliptical machines all facing the windows which does face the ocean so really cool little area they got free weights they got mechanical weights they got everything you need and while you're working out you got this awesome view of the sea but I do want to show you what view they get when they are working out that's cool makes you want to work out actually and I'm not a person that works out so <laughs> And moving on, we enter the solarium outside. This is an adult only area. This is where hot tubs, small little swimming pool, cool little area to chill. If you do not want children running around kicking you in the face while you're trying to relax and swim, this is where you go to the solarium. They also have a solarium bar. Either side they have hot tubs, a nice little bridge. Uh, again, similar to the Freedom of the Seas if you've ever been, if you haven't. Uh, pretty similar to this. So, here's your solarium. Here's your other hot tub on the other side. And we are, again, at Coco Key and we have uh, another ship here as well, which is the Harmony of the Seas. Now, for all of you smokers, besides the casino, because they do now allow smoking back into the casino, you have smoking sections on deck 11 and 12 on the right hand side of the ship, or the, I don't know what side you call it. But this side is the smoking section. The other side is the non-smoking section. Let me take my mask off because I am outside. But you can hear me better now. And here's your main Lido deck. This is where you've got your two swimming pools on either side. You do have your main big screen where they show movies at night. And also during the day, they got another hot tub over here. They actually have one, two, two more hot tubs. And they have a sky lounge right upstairs on deck 12. So here's your main Lido pool area. And again, another view of the big screen. Lifeguards are always on duty, whether people are here or not. And again, down here's your smoking section, your shade. Now as we continue on the other side of the pool area is the kiddie pool area and they kind of got it blocked off 
from each other so that's kind of cool because it separates the kids that don't want to be around those pesky adults and here's the little cool the kid pool play area and it is called Splash Away Bay This is also new on deck 11. It is called Fish and Chips. And it is where you can get some seafood as well as drinks. It is a pay uh, restaurant, if you want to call it a restaurant. And here's their prices. They got fish and chips, fried shrimp, calamari, lobster roast, battered sausage, hand cut chips, chip buddy, deep fried candy bar. Ugh. I'm sure somebody's eating one of those. So yeah, here's your fish and chips. I don't think they have that on the Freedom. We keep talking about how similar they are, but I think that is one thing that is different. And again, here's your other view of the Kid Zone or Splash Away Bay, whatever you want to call it. So cool. And on this side, if you need snorkeling gear, scuba lessons, stuff like that, it's called Tide and Trail. And that's where you can get all of your snorkel gear, uh, swimming gear, and if you want to do scuba diving lessons, you go over there as well. So that's a cool little area. One of these days I will do it. And finally, the end of deck 11 is the wind jamma and I will go in just to shoot it I'm not going to eat but I am going to show it to you this is where you get your buffet uh, you will hear this term more than once and that is washi washi when you do come in they say a washi washi because they want you to wash your hands at all times which I'm all for but yes, here is the Windjammer. This is where you come and get your buffet. Now, as well as the buffet, they also have two specialty restaurants here. One, which is Giovanni's. And I do not think this is the revamped Giovanni's. I think this is the older Giovanni's. Italian restaurant and I will say the one on Freedom is the revamp uh, Giovanni's they have pizza there now they have chicken parmesan this is the older version and they do not uh, they have a different menu on Freedom than they do on the Independence and this is your steakhouse the chops a grill this is probably their best restaurant that they have on the ship and especially if you're a steak person there's Chops Grill. They have excellent appetizers. Oh, their bacon, their peppered bacon, that's so good. And obviously they have really good steaks, ribeyes, prime rib, uh, filet mignon. Just really good. Good steakhouse. And it's also a pay restaurant, obviously. I strongly suggest the grilled black pepper bacon. All right, and that's deck 11. So now we're gonna head up to deck 12. The first thing that we see on deck 12 is Adventure Ocean. This is the kid zone. They have the video arcade right here. And they have all of their activities split up into age groups. We'll start in their arcade. Plenty of games with prizes as well. This is the kids gambling hall, if you want to call it that. 
because they can win fabulous prizes. I might come in here and play a few because they got really cool stuff. I mean, if you can win it, I mean, look at this. They got fires, they got JBL speakers. I mean, they don't play around. They got the good stuff. Ooh, oh. And they got Guitar Hero. And then you have other areas, other prizes. I'm trying to see if they have duck, uh, duck claw where you can get ducks. No, I think that's just carnival only. But anyway, back to this arcade. A lot of games. Uh, really cool air hockey tables too. Wow, those angle. I've never seen those. And they also have bowling. Huh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, really cool little area. Cool little place. Let's go on through here. Now this is where they have all of their kid zones, if you want to call it that. It doesn't look like they're open right now, but this is their Voyager. This is where you go 9 to 11. Yeah, they are closed. Let's see if I can get a peek to that. A little area for the young ones to go. Explore area. This is 6 to 8. Oh, they do have the plucky ducky game so cool and here's their little area for three to five year old it's called aquanauts I'm sure they're they're all closed you can't get into it this is the little area where the aquanauts three to five can play they also have the royal babies and tots this is where the little ones go the little 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 ones I know it's already closed as well, but this is the area that you would go into the babies and the infants and the tots. <laughs> we are now outside on deck 12. I get you a good shot of Coco Key. Woo! Should have brought my glasses. It is bright and pretty out today. There is Coco Key. But moving right along, we have Johnny Rockets. Really good burgers, good fries, good shakes. If anybody knows Johnny Rockets, it is a pay. They do offer free breakfast, I believe. Uh, I'll have to uh, find that out for sure, but usually Johnny Rockets will give you a free breakfast in the morning, and then others is pay. Now we are on the aft of the ship. Get you another shot of Coco K or Coco Key, whichever you prefer. Here's Coco Key. go up one floor you have the flow rider This little area. There's the water slides. I really do think that guy was trying to splash my camera. That is not cool. I saw the abyss on this ship. And I'm like, oh wow, they got the abyss on this thing now. How did they do that? 
Well, they didn't because it's actually on this ship, which is the Harmony of the Seas. So yes, I'm definitely going to have to edit my stupidity out. There's the trampoline ball thingy that you go up and jump around. That's new. And obviously, again, here are your water slides. But I promise you, they do have a rock climbing wall. And this is on our ship. This is not an illusion. This is an actual rock climbing wall. And they also have their basketball court. Which I like because they do pickleball. So yeah, usually it's at like nine in the morning. They open up the pickleball. They put the nets out for pickleball and people can go and play. And they also have, people call it sandbag toss. We call it, uh, what do we call it? I'm having a brain fart, but I'm gonna throw one. Yeah. They call it back toss, we call it cornhole. That's the name. I don't know what this is. It looks like they attach something to it. Looks like some kind of swing that they don't have the uh, swing sets attached to. And then here are some little recliners, little rockers, little rocker swings. I don't know what they call them, but there's those. So this is deck 12. Uh, the only other thing they do have on this deck, this is obviously the sports deck as well as the track where you can run, jog, dance around, lay out, do what you will on deck number 12. And last but not least, on deck 13, you have more laying out area, more chairs, this cool little water uh, cooler offer, a little mist zone. If you walk through it, you will get sprayed. And here is their mini golf course, which I'm going to guess it is called Independence Dunes. Am I right? Yes, Independence Dunes. This is their mini golf area. Nice little shaded seating area right here. I love these little chairs. Very comfortable, very cool to lay in. All right, and that's all on deck numero 13. And our last two stops are deck 14 and 15. And they do have another lounge area that you can go to here. This is actually deck 13. This is another way you can go to the flow rider, the sky pad, perfect storm which is their water slides this is another entrance to get to there and 14 it is a really cool place to get a drink they have two separate lounges besides this one this is your sky lounge or is it the Viking lounge I think it's the Viking lounge Here, if you are a Diamond Club member, which I am, is the Diamond Club. And this is where you can get all your issues straightened out with your Diamond member, concierge, person. You can come up here to get a drink, chill and relax. We like to come up here right before we go eat and have a cocktail. They do have an outdoor seating area as well. But yeah, this is a really cool little lounge for Diamond members only and Diamond Plus members. They also have a suite lounge on the other side as well. But yeah, this is your Diamond Lounge. Next deck we will hit 
just to see what's up there because I'm curious. It's deck 15. So let's walk up the stairs. Let's get to the tippy tippy top point of the whole area and see what it is. And it's absolutely nothing. So cool. I wonder what is up there. So that's it. That is the tour of this ship. That was your ship tour. Um, I will say deck 15 looks like it has nothing but they actually have something on deck 15 and that is the escape room. Um, I didn't see any advertising for it, any signs for it. There is one on the elevator that does say access to the escape room. So they do have that on deck 15. Uh, if you like doing those types of things, that is available for you at the very, very tippy tip top. So anyway, that is the ship tour. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like, please subscribe, and we are going to continue on with this cruise. Probably going to go hit Coco K or Coco Key, whichever you prefer, and go check out that area as well. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.